This man is Melbourne Football Club royalty, games holder and goals holder, David Neitz. He's here. Nice yes. to be here. Nice. And, nice. and, mate, before we talk everything with you, here is your baggy blue, number 65, oh, Nita. So excellent. stick that on Thank your head. Yeah, whack it on. Thank Five you. Five panels. Thank you very much, guys. Got it. There we are. There's some vision of your first ever. Oh, with, with hair. Fantastic. <laughs> Looking like sharp, to too, of course. Absolutely. Yeah. Got the oh, nice yeah. presidential red tie. Yeah, it was excellent. I studied and studied up for, before that, and uh, all my notes went to no good. Hey. Uh, Sam, Sam spoke for about four hours and yeah, didn't get a didn't word in. <laughs> no. Hey, got a little Ryan Harris look about him, Gary, too. Uh, with got the, no hair. The no, just just roll. He couldn't bowl. That's one thing he couldn't do. But I had a very good run up, though, Gaz. You did look good coming in. What's Menacing. happened to your hair, big fella? What's happened? <laughs> yeah, not a great, uh, not a great deal. <laughs> it's gone, it's gone backwards, hey, mate. While we're talking here, and I know you've got some stuff for your great old teammate, Gaz, but while we're talking here, one of our favourite ever moments on this uh, show was when we sent. This is you were captain of the club, by the way, at this stage. We sent you down to the Melbourne Football Club to greet Mr T. Just have a look at this vision. Okay, D, you the man, you in command. <laughs> Let's see if you learned anything from your time with me. Take it away, T style. Okay, bring it in, fools. Rollo, Flash, stop your jibber jab. How was that? That was pretty good. Well, uh, yeah. Ordinarily, I would have been. I would have been quite embarrassed about that, but after watching Gaz uh, dressing up as Warwick, I'm not hey, I'm, I'm fine with it. The footy club went downhill from that moment, you know that. Well, <laughs> Brock McLean was there, of course. It hasn't recovered since then, either. <laughs> yeah. Hey, uh, the, but uh, we like to show that, but we also like to say this is... Wouldn't Melbourne love to have this man alongside Jack Watts? Just remind yourself of some of the... The physical acts and the presence that he had out in the footy field was one of the things that as a Demon supporter you went along, you not only knew that you were going to get a great contest from this bloke, but he also put some fear in the opposition. So, Nietzsche, it wouldn't uh, hurt to have you down there at the moment. How are you feeling about the state of our great old club? Yeah, we've got a bit of work to do. Uh, we had the Foundation Heroes uh, last night, which was a great event. The great Melbourne people came out and continued to donate, continued to commit to the club, which was just fantastic. But, um, yeah, we've got a bit of work to do, but we've got some good people at the moment that are trying uh, to do the right thing. And we don't want to put any pressure on Jack, but we'd love him to sign uh, and start the club. We would like him. To, he got a bit of pressure last night as well, <laughs> young Jack. <laughs> but, uh, no, we've got to sign a few of our boys up, keep a, uh, a young list together and get a few more in. And, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a big, big time for the Melbourne Football Club. It is great to have uh, this man, David Neitz, in. One of the main reasons we love having him in is it's always good to have uh, Melbourne footballers who are better players than Gary. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. <laughs> and this is oh, one right here. Now, uh, you've got a big uh, game coming up. Tell us what's happening. Yeah, I have. Um, one of my really good mates, uh, Rick Crow, uh, had an accident uh, late last year. He... Um, uh, on a jumping castle, actually, just bouncing around and um, back backflip gone wrong, and he became a uh, quadriplegic that day. So um, uh, we'd had, you know, went to school, primary school, high school, junior footy, the, the works. So um, we had a few fundraisers raises along the way, but uh, this Saturday I've put, put the boots back on Oi. and I'm um, going down to the Heatherton Footy Club at the Ross Street Oval and uh, having a bit of a fundraiser for the uh, for the Heatherton team and they're in their centenary game. So. Uh, Hopefully we get a few people down through the gates and uh, and raise some funds for, for Rick. All right, get stuck in there. It'll be great. Everyone <laughs> putting up centenary game. You've got the details on the screen there, guys. And uh, if we weren't calling footy, we'd get along and have a look at that to see the great man in action again for a great cause. So make sure you're along.